Today, I'm going to be doing a review on the Comica CVM WS50 handheld microphone. Hi, Taylor here with Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been posted. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. So let's start with just opening the box and seeing what's inside. I do love that Comica is really good about having quality bags for their products. It really just shows that they do care for their products and that you are getting a good product off the bat. There's some companies that just won't give you a good bag. They'll just give you the box and then you have to figure out the rest. And you can see here when you open up the bag, there's a nice cushion on here. So it's just keeping everything extra protected. And then you can see again that there's even an additional cushion over the receiver. There's a nice pouch on here where you have your manual as well as the cords that come with it. So it just comes with uh, a cord to connect the receiver to your smartphone. And notice if you have an iPhone, you are going to have to supply your own thunder or lightning bolt to 3.5 milliliter cord. So it does not come with the cord to instantly connect to an iPhone, so just take note of that. And then it does also come with your cord in order to, to recharge it. And so right when you you know turn it on, it connects really quickly. So you can just see on the receiver, there's an on off button. You just go ahead and you can turn it on and it's going to be blinking this green light until it has fully paired up and connected with the actual handheld microphone. Um, you can see that they both have screens on there and on the screens, you can easily see uh, the battery levels for both the receiver and the microphone. Another thing to note is that you do need to supply your own two AA batteries to power on this handheld microphone. It does come with a less than desirable tripod, but you're not purchasing this for the tripod. It's very basic, but it allows you to then nicely twist on the receiver. And then the receiver has these kind of nice little feet here that you can then use to loosen and make a nice size so you can slip a phone into there. You can push, push on this button here in order to adjust the tripod orientation if you need to. It's a little stiff. Uh, like I said, this isn't the fanciest of tripods, but you're purchasing this for the microphone and not so much for the tripod. So let's go ahead and listen to some test footage that was taken with an Android as well as with an iPhone. Hello, this is the Comica handheld microphone using an Android K51 phone. Um, my lips are right against the microphone. It's sometimes even, you know, touching the microphone when I'm talking. This is probably a little too close and I'm probably getting some puckering, but we'll hear when we listen to the test footage. This is about how I would hold the microphone, you know, the inch or two away. So it's still nice and close, uh, but not necessarily touching the microphone when I'm talking. But many times you like to use a microphone like this, a handheld when you're doing those on the street responses. And sometimes people will hold the microphone uh, six inches to a foot away from themselves. And so we'll see how that is sounding as well. This is control footage. So I do not have a microphone plugged in right now. This is just the onboard mic to hear what it sounds like inside uh, just using the onboard microphone using an Android K51. This is test footage of the Comica CVM WS50 handheld microphone using an iPhone 12 Max Pro. I'm about an inch or two away from the microphone talking into it. It's about how I would hold a handheld microphone. Sometimes people are a little too close and have their lips right against it. And other times when you hand someone a microphone, they may not know how to hold it and will keep it that six inches to a foot away from the microphone so let's see how this sounds this is the control with the iPhone just using the onboard mic so we can do a comparison with the handheld microphone 
This is outdoor test footage using the Comica CVM WS50 handheld microphone on an iPhone 12 Max Pro. Uh, we are outside, there's chickens in the backyard, there's an airplane going above me right now. So we'll see how much ambient noise is picked up. This is about that inch or two away from my mouth and now right up against to see how breathy it is and if I had it further away uh, perhaps that six inches to a foot away from my mouth let's see how this sounds here is the control footage outdoors using a iPhone 12 Max Pro uh, there's dogs in the background we do have chickens in our yard we're right next to a road so we'll see how much ambient noise is picked up when we use the microphone. Outdoor test footage using this Comica handheld microphone. I do have birds outside. I do have some chickens in our yard that you might hear in the background. Uh, I'm right up against the microphone. Uh, my lips are almost touching the microphone at times when I'm talking. This is more so how I would hold a handheld microphone about that inch or two away. And of course, if you are using this for some of those on the street responses from people, sometimes they tend to hold the microphone the six inches to a foot away from themselves and so we will see how well this microphone does if someone's not holding it right up against their mouth and the control footage of just using the onboard microphone with the android k51 phone outdoors so as you can hear, it does a really great job. If you're someone who is looking for a handheld microphone to work with your smartphone, it's it's really good. Just be a little conscious of your puckering and your breath. I'm shocked at how breathy I really am. <laughs> and so maybe finding that sweet spot of exactly where to hold it. Um, you know, if I had it that six inches to one foot away, it was still capturing audio and you can adjust the output levels from the receiver. So perhaps if you know someone is holding the, the microphone a little too far, far away, you can just go ahead and use this little reel at the top in order to make those levels a little higher or if someone is very close to the microphone, maybe bring down those levels a bit. Uh, of course, you know, having a handheld microphone's not for everyone. And so I highly advise that you take a look at our video uh, that helps you decide what microphone should you get, a lapel, a boom, or a handheld. And if you're looking for a quality handheld, you heard it. This does a great job, and if you want to purchase it, please take a look at our link in the description that will bring you to our equipment recommendation page, and we appreciate you supporting our affiliate link. If you have any additional questions about this microphone or about purchasing a microphone, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below.